Hey guys, Kevin Rogers. Uh, we've been asked to do a, a video on a fish care. So a lot of you folks will get nothing out of this video if you've been doing this a long time. Some of you folks don't even care if your crappies stay alive, right? You just want to throw them in a nice chest, take them home and clean them. So this is uh, this video is for the guys who's asked for it, uh, for the up and coming uh, tournament anglers, uh, crappie anglers, guys that are brand new to the sport, guys that uh, uh, need help keeping their fish alive. I take complete pride in keeping my fish alive. Um, I go to great lengths to keep them alive. I, nothing um, upsets me more if I have a dead fish in the live well. There's stuff we can do to keep these fish alive. Now there are times late in the summer um, when the water uh, quality gets real bad, the oxygen's bad in the water and fish are just going to die. That happens, uh, especially when it's hot. Um, fish getting hooked deep in the gills and ripping their gills out. Everyone knows that kills them for sure. Um, but just everyday use for a tournament. The uh, last thing I want to do, last thing I want to do as a tournament angler is drive um, 500 miles, spend all this money to get in the tournament, then have a, a fish die. That high, that just, that kills me. So I'm gonna walk you through what I do. Um, I'm out here just fun fishing. Um, I'm out here in East Texas shooting some videos, having fun. It's fall time. Trees are starting to change a little bit. So I've, I've kept my morning's catch here just to, to show you, and I'm going to walk you through how I keep them alive. Um, every morning that I start a tournament, I put two complete bags of ice directly in the live well. Right in the live wells. Two complete full bags of ice um, when I'm getting my gas at the uh, convenience store, and I shut the live well. And when I get on the water, as soon as I launch my boat, I will pump the uh, live wells completely full of water, lake water. And then I will never pump lake water into the live wells again the rest of the day. I won't do it. Um, think about it. The first, first thing in the morning is when that water temp is going to be as cool. As it's at its coolest temperature that it's going to be all day. Uh, the sun isn't out yet, so it's had time to cool off from nighttime. The sun gets up high and the water will heat up as the day goes on. We all know that, especially in the spawn, right? We all talk about that later in the day the water heats up. So that's when I pump water the lake water into the live well. First thing, I launch my boat and I fill them completely up. One thing I do, and I think anglers uh, don't do this, and I don't know why they do it. I don't know if you can see that right now. The recirculate, every boat has a recirculate pump where it just takes the bottom of the water and just comes to the top and it recirculates. I turn that on and I never turn it off, ever. There's a timer on it, there's three minutes, five minutes, I don't use it. I turn it on, I never turn it off, all day long. It's constantly recirculating the water. What's that doing? That's creating bubbles. It's creating oxygen. That's what keeps the fish alive. I, it's amazing to me. People will turn that off and say, well, it's going to run my batteries down, right? Go get new batteries. Nothing's more important if you want to be a tournament angler than keeping these fish alive. Turn that recirculate on. Run it all day long. Uh, huge. It'll, it'll keep the fish alive. Those fish have to have that oxygen to stay alive. Um, I cooling the water down. I think that is massive. I think that's huge. I don't, I don't get afraid of dumping pure ice and people say the ice has got chlorine in it and all this bad chemicals. I put enough stuff in there to kill anything that's in that water. I love the G juice um, by TH Marine. I love this stuff. I'll, I will go through that's one tournament right there. I used three quarters of a bottle in the last tournament I fished. I will just keep dumping that in there. Um, so if you get a fish that's, that's hooked deep, you pour this directly in his mouth, this will help stop that bleeding. So I know Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie's got one out. Uh, the G Juice, same stuff. Uh, the old good stay alive. I like the powder. I like the powder and the liquid. I use both throughout the day. I put enough chemicals in there, it's gonna kill anything that's in it. Um, throughout the day so i mean don't we have the the coolers nowadays the technologies in these coolers i will take a cooler full of extra ice um throughout my day of fishing if it's if it's especially in the dead of summer if it gets really really hot um in june and july i will take a bag and i will dump that directly in there directly in the live well do not be afraid to put that ice right in the live well you want to cool this water down eight to nine degrees it relaxes those fish so i put i put that in there all right i put that ice in there and all the chemicals i pour that in there dump it in there that's going to kill any of the chemicals that was in that ice 
I've never had a ice to kill my fish, but I treat my water too. So that's something that I do. Um, coolers nowadays, I keep always keep two extra bags of ice in my boat, not for drinks, but for the fish coming out of the bed. Um, that's how I keep these fish alive. And I always check on them. Um, catching fish deep, you can give them the bends. That's a whole nother segment of how to keep the fish alive when you give them the bends. But cool that water down, guys. These fish are freaked out, right? We just yanked them straight, straight out of their home where they've been living their whole lives, right here in this little box. Of course, they're gonna freak out. Uh, the ice cooling the water calms them down. The chemical that you put in there will calm them down as well. Something else that I do that I think is, is huge, is very important, is I do not keep more than seven crappie in my live well at any time. So we're fishing these crappie tournaments, we can keep seven. I keep seven fish here at all times. Unless I've got one that's poor, that I've ripped the gill on, I think it might die, I'll throw an eighth one in there just in case. I wish it was a tournament rule, just like bass fishing, where you could only keep seven in this boat. I don't think enough uh, our sport, you know, our sport needs to evolve crappie fishing. Um, we need to have better fish care. People need to manage their fish better just like the bass guys do. Taking care of these fish, very important. I cull my fish as I go. I never have more than seven fish in this live well at one time. You put more, you put 30 crappie in there and those crappie are gonna take the oxygen, you know, a lot faster than seven will. I don't want 30 crappie in there stealing, stealing the oxygen from my big fish that I definitely drove 500 miles to catch. I don't want that fish to die. So, I only keep seven in there and I coal as I go. It amazes me, guys still don't do that. We'll go to the weigh-in and guys will be there and they'll have 30 crappie laid on the floorboard of the boat. I'll have a balance beam out. I get to the weigh-in, I get my cooler out, I pump the water from my live well into my cooler. I hand my dad our seven ropes. He takes them off the ropes, puts them in the bucket and we go weigh in. It takes us no more than 10 minutes, just like that. We don't, there's no balance beam and there's no nothing. So. I do use a coal rope when I coal them, and I do use the uh, this scale. This scale will coal them as well. It has uh, has a computer screen on it. When you weigh one, uh, we'll go. We'll walk through one here. We're getting ready to coal a fish. These coal ropes. Last time I did a fish care video, someone yelled at me on YouTube or Facebook and said this clip will kill the fish um, eventually. It won't kill them in the day. In within eight hours of fish, look how alive that fish is. What I do know is, I know this for a fact, if I take this fish home and I fillet it, the mortality rate of that fish is 100%. <laughs> so if I'm putting a hole in that fish's mouth and releasing back to the lake, I know the survival rate is a lot higher than me taking them home and cleaning them. I do know that. So I do use these clips and, I, and that's how I identify my seven crappie and I weigh every one of them. Let's go through a scenario right now. Here, let me walk you through how I cull a fish. So I know my small fish, let's see in here, my little bitty guy in here. Oh, what number is he? So he's number five right here on the scale. Okay, number five. And I just caught a big one. So I come to the big side. I don't know what, I ain't even weighing him yet. I don't even know what he weighs. But it's a, it's a giant. Oh, if I can catch him. See, he's so alive in his life. He can't even catch him. Golly. Yeah, I can't even get my hands on him. So. Big old Texas crappie here. Woo wee. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna weigh him. I have seven already in here and I need to coal. So all you do with this thing, turn that scale on, clip him, just clamp him, not clip him, clamp him on his lip there. Woo! Look at that fish, how alive that fish is. That fish weighs 194. So you hit the lock button. You find your smallest fish on the rope, which happens to be number five, all right? 194, that's a giant crappie. Dig in here, find number five. That's our small fish. Yeah, we're in Texas. That's our small fish. I throw him back. You know he's got a hole in his lip. He swam off. I come in here. I poke this guy right here. Put him in there. And I stand up and I go back to fishing. It's that simple. And that's how I cull my fish. Something cool about this scale, I know exactly which fish to cull at any given time of the day. And it also keeps your total. It keeps your total seven fish of what they weigh. 
So anytime throughout the day, I know what my seven fish weigh. Right now I'm sitting on 12 pounds and uh, 12, 12, sorry, 12, 12. So over 12 pounds for my seven fish. That's a pretty good day. You get seven crappie over 12 pounds. That's pretty good. Um, so that's it guys. That's how I keep my fish alive. Everyone has their own way of doing it. Some guys run pure oxygen in here um, and keep an oxygen uh, tank in their boat. I don't do that. I just treat the water. Ice is the number one key. Two things, ice, recirculating those bubbles all day long, right? Those bubbles bring you down here. Look at bring the GoPro right down here. Those bubbles recirculating right here all day long. You can see it foaming up in those bubbles. That is creating oxygen. I don't have a special system. I don't have anything. I have the stock, whatever came in the bass cat. I, some guys put extra bubblers in here. That's a good idea. I know uh, a couple of my buddies do that. They'll put a oxygenator or something in here and just create more bubbles. Uh, I sell my boat every year, so I don't do that. I just recirculate that water. That's what that's for. That's why it's on the boat. That is the number one key. I don't think crappie fishermen are doing that. Now, for you guys that don't <clears throat> don't tournament fish none of this pertains to you so <laughs> disregard so this is uh you guys asked for this video um so here it is and remember these coal ropes these things are great right and just throw them back when you're done put it on the next one all right hope hopefully that helps some of you guys good fishing i'm gonna release these i'm not keeping any black crappie show you the difference make sure you all know black crappie spots white crappie lines good fishing